Want to design the perfect e-commerce product page? Watch this video for 10 great tips. Hi, I'm JB with Marketing 360, and we help small businesses grow with our marketing and design talent technology through our number one marketing platform, Marketing 360. We call marketing and design mad, and we love mad. And hopefully these videos will help you fall in love with mad too. So make sure to follow us to learn tips, tricks, and strategies to grow your business and fuel your brand. So a highly convertible product page is just key to success with any e-commerce store, but how do you do that? Let's jump in and talk about 10 tips on how you can really optimize your store and your product pages so they have the highest conversion rate possible. Let's jump in. Tip number one is to have big, professional product photography. It's huge, it's super key to success because your product page isn't just on your website. If you think about it, you also have this displayed on social media, on other maybe sites like Amazon and various places, Google Shopping, Bing Shopping. They're all pulling in your product photography. So if you don't have good product photography, you're not gonna stand out in the crowd. Typically when somebody's shopping on Google Shopping, for example, what they're really seeing initially is the product photography. And you're gonna stand out in the crowd if you have real professional, high quality product photography. So that's key. But then, of course, on your product page itself, when visitors are landing on your website or navigating your website and landing on these product pages, it's vital that you have big, professional product photography. That's kind of the first step, or they're gonna hit the back button, which is called a bounce. And that's the last thing you want. You want them to stay on your product page, and it starts with your pictures. Tip two is to have a nice professional product video. And by professional, I, I don't mean it needs to be like a high production, expensive type of a thing. You can even film this with your, with your smartphone. They have good enough cameras for sure. What's important is it's professional with regards to how you're introducing the product, the quality of the product, talking about the different features of the product, maybe how it works. This is important, right? Because this is your sales pitch. This should be your perfect sales pitch for that product that can be given to a thousand people at the same time that might be watching that video. So it's crucial to have that. Think of this as if somebody walked into your store and said, hey, tell me about this product. That should be what your product video is. It's just on your website instead, which is your digital salesperson. So don't just have good pictures. Also spend some time to make a product video for each of your products. That's going to be huge for you with your conversion rate. Tip three is to have some trust badges on your product page. Think of this in terms of what are the typical questions or concerns that your shoppers might have. Maybe when they're talking to you or your sales reps or your customer service people, they're asking things like, do you have free shipping? How fast do I receive my order? Do you price match? Stuff like that. Is it secure checkout? These are things that you should just put right there visible right away on your product page. Answer those questions right out the gate. This is gonna save you support time. It's also gonna increase your conversion rate because people are gonna see those boxes are checked for them mentally before they move forward and you're taking care of that with these trust badges. It can be real simple designs. You can have a designer in, in, on site do it. You could even do it in bullet points, although not as effective as images. Image badges look better. You can put them just right in a row, maybe underneath your product pictures or in your product description. Make sure that they stand out. You don't have to scroll down a mile to see them. That's gonna help with conversion rate as well. Tip number four is to have an SEO optimized title tag and description. This is important because people are searching on Google and Bing all day long to find things that they want to potentially buy and you want to be visible when they do this. So you're going to want to optimize all your product pages. Don't have a title that you know is just a catchy name maybe that you've created for your product. Think about how you can have an SEO optimized title. What are people actually searching when they're looking for that type of product? That should really be your title. And if you want a catchy little phrase after that, you can add it at the end, but having that SEO optimized title in the beginning is going to be crucial to ranking high online and then integrate that into your description as well. Don't just have a one sentence description. You know, try to get in there at least 150, 200, even up to 500 word description. That's going to build content on your page and help you rank better as well. Tip number five is to have a clear price and order button on your page. It should be real easy to identify and find the price and also easy to find and see the call to action button, which would be to order online or purchase now or add to cart, whatever you wanna call it. That should be big, it should have a, a color that stands out and it should be high up on the page so you don't have to scroll down a mile to find it. If you have those things, it's gonna help people find their way to check out easier and increase your conversion rate. Tip six, and this is one that gets missed a lot, but it's to have a lot of reviews for your products. I can't tell you how many e-commerce stores, I look at their product pages and they literally have no reviews, no reviews, no reviews, sometimes one review. This isn't gonna be very effective, right? People wanna have a sense of confidence and trust when they go to your product page, and to have that, they really wanna hear from third-party reviews, and what does that look like? And if those are strong, four and five stars with some good comments in there, that's really gonna increase your conversion rate. It's also gonna help your product page rank 
rank higher in search, which is key because you have more content on the page. So spend some time, invest some time into getting reviews for folks that buy your products, follow up with them, get those reviews so that the product page has a lot of reviews and that's gonna equal a lot of orders for your store. Tip number seven is to have social share icon buttons on your product pages. This is important because a lot of times somebody sees something, they want to share it with their friends. Maybe this is a product one of their friends would like. They just could click the Facebook button and easily share that online. Maybe it's a gift idea they want to send to their husband. Hey, I'd love this for Christmas or whatever. Boom, they can click it and share it online. So these social share buttons are huge because it's going to increase your referral business, which is something that you may not be currently receiving, but it's a huge opportunity that's out there and it's just as easy as adding these social share icons to your product pages. Tip number eight is to have an easy to find uh, call number for support or sales and if you don't have that maybe a chat that's important because somebody needs to easily identify and find these things on your page if they do have a question or a concern otherwise you're going to lose that business if they can't easily find it so have the phone number right there maybe in your header so it's easy to find it also in your footer if you have chat have chat and make sure you're available too there's nothing more frustrating than a phone number without hours of operation or something and you call it and nobody answers generally you're going to hit the back button and shop somewhere else so think about those things get those on your site Tip number nine is to have a fast load time on your product pages and a mobile friendly product page. This is crucial because 80% of people are shopping online with their phone these days. They're at, at the couch at night kind of scrolling through, shopping, navigating. They're not on their computers. They're probably not really on iPads. They're on a small screen like their phone. So make sure that your product page looks really good there and loads quickly, otherwise you're gonna lose that business. And tip 10, last tip, is to compare your site and your product pages with your competitors. Pretend you're a shopper, pretend you don't know yourself, pretend you don't know, your, know anything, and you're just shopping and you're browsing. Click on your site, navigate to your product pages, look at your product pages, and then do this with your competitors as well, and be honest with yourself. Would you buy from you or would you buy from them? And if the answer is them, you're gonna wanna make some changes on your product pages and your site so that it converts at the highest rate and is really the best compared to your competitors so that people that are shopping and browsing choose you and not your competitor. So hopefully this video was enjoyable. You had some good tips that you can take back to the fort to optimize your product pages and your e-commerce store to convert at a higher rate. If you like the video, like it. If you have any comments or additional tips, please do leave that in the comments. Share this video with friends that might be interested and also follow us for more content like this in the future. Happy marketing.